We are in Windows Server 2012 R2, and we have a volume that we're using as a cluster shared volume. Now, if we look in computer management, we can see disk three is reserved, which means that we can't make any changes in computer management if we want to extend to use this unused space here in the computer management program. So it has to be done in a different place. So if we take a look at failover cluster manager, we can see our drive is only showing up as 300 gigabytes. But in computer management, it's actually 400 gigabytes. So we want to use that extra space, but we can't do it in computer management. So we want to extend that drive, but we have to do it through a utility called disk part. So what you want to do is right click on your start menu and go to an advanced, pardon me, go to an admin command prompt. And these are going to be the commands that we're going to type. The first one is going to be disk part. The second one is going to be list volume. And the last one's going to be extend. You could also choose to extend in the size of, in megabytes that you would like to make it if you don't want it to use all of the available space. So let's go back to our command prompt and type disk part. And if you're not in an, an admin command prompt, you'll be prompted to click yes to allow that. And let's go to list volume. And we see all of our volumes. So we're going to take a look for our volume that is showing up with the size that we want to expand. If we go back into our computer management, we can see that this is a CSVFS or cluster shared volume file service. All right, so let's take a look and we see that that is going to be volume five. It doesn't necessarily manage or uh, map up to what we see here at disk three because the disk number isn't necessarily the same as the volume number. Now, while this is all going on, we're also running at the same time, we're running a virtual machine right in that cluster shared volume. So you can see it's running Windows 8 and there it is right there. Let's take a look at that and if we go into our C drive, cluster storage, there's our cluster shared volume, and there's our VHDX, which is running our virtual machine. So we want to make sure that this continues to run while we extend this volume. So let's go ahead and extend the volume, and we'll make sure that everything continues to run. All we have to do is type the word extend to use all of the available space. But first, we want to select the volume, so we're going to choose Select Volume 5. And now we'll type Extend. And now it is successfully extended. Let's take a look, make sure our virtual machine is still running, and it is. So fantastic. And let's take a look and see if all of our storage is available. And now it is. It now says 400 gigabytes. So everything stayed up while we were able to extend the volume and we did not have to take the cluster offline.